I want to tell you about a new study that just came out using lower doses of chemotherapy. About 20 years ago, researchers took patients with stage 3 or 4 ovarian cancer, stage 3 or 4 lung cancer, stage 3 or 4 colorectal cancer, and any stage of pancreatic cancer, and they put them into one of two study groups. The first group received the standard of care chemotherapy using the usual dosing, which is referred to as a maximum tolerated dose. This is the dose you get when you go see your regular oncologist anywhere in the country and pretty much throughout the world. The other group of patients in the study received low dose chemotherapy, which is defined as less than or equal to 50% of the full dose. Both groups of patients were followed for over a decade. This was a very long-term study. And here's what they found. Patients receiving low dose chemotherapy had a median survival of 1.7 years compared to just 0.8 years for those receiving full dose chemotherapy. In other words, those patients receiving low dose chemo lived over twice as long. As these patients were followed over longer periods of time, the results became even more impressive. Patients receiving low-dose chemotherapy had a five-year survival rate of 20% compared to a five-year survival rate of just 1% for those receiving full-dose chemotherapy. In addition, the 10-year survival rate for those receiving low-dose chemotherapy was 7%, and none of the patients receiving full-dose chemo were alive at 10 years. And not surprisingly, the patients receiving low-dose chemo had less toxicity than those receiving full-dose chemo. So the results of this study might surprise you, but they don't surprise me at all. I use low-dose chemotherapy in my office all the time with my patients, and I consistently see excellent results. Remember, more isn't always better. Now, I want you to also keep in mind that chemotherapy itself is not toxic, but the doses often used are. As the saying goes, the dose makes the poison. So if you've been recommended to have chemotherapy, I would encourage you to have an open mind and view it as a powerful anti-cancer tool, which can also be quite safe when used properly. And my recommendation for most patients is for a low-dose chemo regimen versus the full dose.